The Panic of 1873. Hello and welcome to today's video. We are going to be discussing the Panic of 1873, a major financial crisis that had a significant impact on the global economy in the late 19th century. The Panic of 1873 was a financial crisis that began in Europe and quickly spread to the United States, resulting in a global economic recession. Overproduction, speculation in the railroad sector, and the failure of a number of sizable banks were just a few of the causes. One of the main triggers of the Panic of 1873 was the collapse of the Vienna Stock Exchange in May of that year. This event sparked a wave of financial panic that spread to other European countries and eventually to the United States. In the United States, the Panic of 1873 was exacerbated by the failure of several large banks, including the prestigious J. Cook & Company, which had been heavily invested in the railroad industry. This led to a credit crunch and a decrease in the availability of credit, which in turn led to a slowdown in economic activity. The Panic of 1873 had a significant impact on the global economy, leading to widespread unemployment, financial instability, and economic contraction. It was a big reason why the economy was bad for a long time, from 1873 to 1896. Despite the severity of the Panic of 1873, it did not lead to a complete collapse of the global financial system. But it did show how the financial industry needs stronger rules and how important it is to invest in different things. It was the first global economic crisis, as it affected countries in both Europe and the United States. It was caused by a number of factors, including overproduction, speculation, and a drop in demand for goods. Furthermore, it also led to a decrease in immigration and a rise in labor unrest as workers demanded higher wages and better working conditions. In the end, the Panic of 1873 ended in 1879, but it had long-lasting effects on the American economy and helped the populist movement grow in the late 1800s. It marked the end of an era of rapid expansion and prosperity and the beginning of a period of economic uncertainty and instability that would last for several years. One aspect of the Panic of 1873 that is not widely known is the role that the demonetization of silver played in the crisis. Prior to the Panic, the United States and many other countries around the world used a bimetallic standard, which meant that they recognized both gold and silver as legal tender. In the United States, the Coinage Act of 1873, also known as the Crime of 73, demonetized silver and effectively put the country on a gold standard. As a result, silver coins were taken out of circulation, which decreased the amount of money in circulation and helped cause a downturn in the economy. Another little-known fact about the Panic of 1873 is that it played a role in the development of modern corporate capitalism. The crisis led to the creation of new institutions, such as the National Association of Credit Management and the New York Stock Exchange, which helped restore confidence and stability to the financial markets. It also led to the development of new business models, like the holding company, which helped companies diversify their operations and spread risk across multiple industries. I did my best to explain in a simple and straightforward manner. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos.